Hey guys, welcome to another video. I literally spent near enough a minute trying to get my breathing under control. I thought I'd be brave and try and do bring all the shopping up with two trips, two or three trips instead of like four or five trips. So, because honestly, first of all, so I've got to get up the stairs to even get into the hallway. You know what I mean. So, I pooped. Yeah, anyway, also, sorry about the hair, wet hair, headphones, it dries funny. Um, so yeah, welcome to Under the Hull. Uh, I mentioned yesterday in the island, Iceland, not Iceland, Aldi panel thing, that I was supposed to be getting a delivery on Monday, but I decided to change it overnight to today, because I thought more, I've got more chance of things being in stock today than I do on Monday, so... Yeah, it came today. I spent 30, in total of £39, which obviously is a lot compared to what you can get at Aldi. But Iceland does a lot of stuff in bulk and um, it works out better price-wise to get some certain things at Iceland. Uh, now, I can walk downtown. Well, I sh realistically, a regular person could walk downtown and get to go to Iceland to bring a bunch of stuff back. But the stuff I want, and the heaviness factor, and the fact that I only have my trolley and a backpack, I want to be able to bring this stuff back. So, and I don't, I don't want to rely on my dad for this, because they're going to be moving soon. Well, as soon as everything's calmed down in their lives and everything. So, um, yeah, so I decided, you know what, order. So, order I did. So first, anyway... I got this. It is a 24 pack uh, loo roll, um, mainly because Aldi sells loo roll, um, and that's where I usually get well, they were stuck together then my loo roll from. Um, however, it's $1.99 or something, 97 for a pack of six. This was around £5.50 for a pack of 24, um, and I believe this works out cheaper. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But it's easier for me to buy this, a 24 pack, even though this will probably last around two, two three months. Um, but I'm trying to like stock up on things, if that makes sense in a general term, because I'm the asthma and stuff. In case, um, you just never know really. So, um, just to have a backup of supplies. So ideally I'd have one of these full back up and then have another one open and stuff like that. But yeah, this is £5.50. Uh, I don't think it was on offer. If it was, I wouldn't be able to afford it if it's full price. But yeah. Why do things get so expensive when you're an adult? Anyway, blue roll. Pack of 24. Um, the next is just everything. So I'm going to go through this bag. Basically, it has... See? There is another bag. Here we go. Um, milks. Basically... What am I saying? I needed more milk. But I won't, if I went to Aldi, I won't be able to bring like a huge pint thing back and I need long life milk more than anything. And long life will actually work out cheaper at Aldi um, to get them fresh milk. But I'm not going to go and buy a bunch of long life milk from Aldi. So I bought it from um, Iceland. So basically it's this. Um, I prefer, obviously I prefer Aldi, but I don't have a car to get a crate full of. Um, and I don't have the money to even give them to my dad to um, buy one. So, yeah, this is basically long life milk. It was 12 for £7. So, um, and it's one litre. Even though they work at 65 pence each, um, Aldi long life skim milk works out 50 pence. But I don't have the energy to go down there. Well, even, I don't even have the money. <laughs> Obviously, when finances work out, hopefully I can. But, yeah, for now, this will be this will be a monthly occurrence until um, I'm able to afford. You, you know what I mean. Um, See, so yeah, I do get one carton from the food bank. And I, go, I can go for around four or five cartons a week. Because I just love milk. I have it with everything. I'm trying to reduce my milk intake because um, I can't afford it. Um... Thanks, but I do love my milk. And here's the other bag. So I got 12 for seven pound. Actually, no. 
Because if you got 12 at Aldi, it would have been £6. You know what? Whatever. I'm paying for the convenience. Uh, so there's this bag, which basically has... I think this is my chips bag. Because I ordered three bags of chips. Because I really like Al Iceland thin chips. And they go with everything. And I do get potatoes from the food bank. So I am working on going through those and freezing them. But you guys are different chips. So these are them. I got... Oh, never mind. One second. Crazy hair. Uh, my dad called, so I gave him the food from the food bank and he gave me this in return. Aerobic balls. I was going to buy some yesterday as well. So, yeah, fair swap. Anyway, chips. Um, yeah, so I've got one bag, two, three. So, <laughs> three bags of chips. I just hope I was going to wait till Monday so I could clear out my freezer a bit more, but. Oh well, <laughs> I'll find a home. Uh, and the next bag is what I really wanted. I only get this. I only buy Vimto from this place now. It's a three litre bottle of Vimto. No added sugar because that's the only one I could drink. The other one, um, the normal one, is quite very sugary and it tastes to sugar more than anything. You know when you drink something and like the inside of your mouth goes really tingly and it goes to go like. You suck, you suck your cheeks in like when you have a lemon yeah that's what it does to me so and this one less sugar of course but you taste the fruit um i have a two liter bottle of impto which my dad got me from asda ages ago i can finally work into that um but then this will be my emergency supply so next month i'll buy another three liter this last because the amount i used to put tons of impto in i'll put the tiniest bit in so it'll last quite a while um and then two more bags I'll go through this one first. Um, I got this was an inner bag before. It's kitchen towels. Um, I usually get the ones from Aldi, but these actually worked out cheaper. They're, they're a pound, I believe. I'm gonna have to check around the Aldi one. But I can't, I can't carry it back anyway. So, yeah, it's um, average of fifty sheets per roll. So you get one hundred fifty sheets for a pound, I believe. Might be that. Might be. And then again, I rarely. I'll, I'll use. Uh, two to three sheets a week. Usually, I used to get tons of sheets off, but now obviously I'm paying, paying for it. I just get one sheet off, and usually it works fine. Uh, next is the chicken I got. Um, this is the cheapest one I could find. They had the mini fillets and stuff like that. But basically, what I'm gonna do, I explained in the vlog, which you haven't seen yet. I bought pasta sauce from Aldi. I was supposed to get the chicken, never did, and then um, so. I was like, oh gosh, I'm gonna to have to add this onto my list, which is what I did yesterday. I added this on, then edited. So yeah, it's three, you can't see, but three um, chicken breast fillets, it's gonna boneless, because I want to dice them up, cook them on the frying pan, and then add the sauce and the stuff, and then freeze it, because I have more freezeable tubs now. So, oh gosh, there, there they are. Oh, they're so slimy. <laughs> And I've got like a natural proper, well I have two proper knives now, so I have a small one, then I have a bigger one, that's perfect for cutting up. And I use the same chopping board for everything, because it gets washed between uses. Probably not a good idea. Here we go, here's my receipt. Um, that's everything. So, yeah, they've changed it, because it used to be like a proper flip seat, but then again, I used to spend 70 to to £100 when I was in Hawes, because it would last around three months. I say three months, it was supposed to last three months, it never did. Three weeks. No, I, I used to I used to be so scared to actually break into my food that I would just like order takeout and then be like, oh gosh, I've got no money, I guess I'm gonna have to use my food now. Anyway, and then next I got um, six of these, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. Muller like toffee yogurts. I haven't had these since when I was in the house in Liverpool, um, I believe. Um if you guys remember my first year vlogs, I had a flatmate who you have seen a couple of times on my videos fleetingly she never purposely was on that video um specifically when my irish flatmate was singing um bohemia rhapsody to my other flatmate um she i was up i was doing all nighter because i needed to get a lot of work done basically because i was so bad at doing my work now work then and she must have heard me she broke into my 
my flatmate friend who I was supposed to share a house with, um, she had a huge water pack of crisps that we all knew was hers. It had a name on it, it had stickers on it saying it was hers. And she broke into it and at around out the 24 pack, she only left six packs of crisps. Yeah. And then she broke into my food and ate, well, all six toffee yogurts. Because I had real, I just got a nice little shop in that day before probably all nighter and I went ham at her really um the other flatmate did as well <laughs> I went absolutely bonkers at her and I said some things to her that I do not regret that's all I'm gonna say because I, it got to the point where she was very very weird and we just didn't feel comfortable with her in the flat at all um and that was the first time in a couple of months I had spoken to her and I just went absolutely ham at her basically stealing my food <laughs> that's all I'm going to say um, not a lot of mates like this it was just this particular girl she oh, girl. she was like 5 years older than all of us so she must be a grown adult I, I started uni when I was 20, 20 and she was around 24, 25 ish so yeah anywho this is the frozen stuff this is the good stuff we came here for so for, first I got Hunter's chicken because mainly I panicked it looks like it has been frozen, so... Yeah, um, because I panicked, I was like... Well, basically, I ordered this, and I'm like, what if it doesn't come? Hunter's chicken is essential for me as a reward for filling, doing my TMAs. I only have it twice now, but... Each each TMA I've handed in, I've had a Hunter's chicken as a reward. And I love Hunter's chicken. Uh, this is the same one they do at Aldi. Aldi's a bit cheaper. However, I didn't know if I would be going to be able to get one from Aldi. But yeah, now I have two, so I always have one emergency Hunter's chicken. Uh, next, I got these two... Ham and cheese crowns, um, basically, <laughs> uh, Mrs. Brown's boys, they have a lot of, um, they have a lot of stuff from Mrs. Brown, and, um, basically this is ham and, um, uh, um, and cheese, a creamy sauce wrapped in delicious and flaky puff pastry. I love Mrs. Brown's boys, because when I was, first or second night in the refuge, I think it was a Sunday, Sunday night, I was watching, or maybe it was... First night, I was watching Mrs. Brown Boys, and she was ironing some, ironing some on her husband's back, and then she answered. She she thought the iron was a photo. So she put the iron to her face, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, it is quite funny." And then next, I got this um, Bannister's Yorkshire. What would be on about four cheese and bacon potato skins? Um, they're nice, not healthy. I think calories. Per skin? Oh, never mind. Only a hundred and five. I probably use this as a because it can be in the microwave, so I probably use this as a side. So if I don't want chips and mashed potatoes, I'd probably cook one or two of these in the microwave. So, um, yeah, I got these because <laughs> I needed I needed um, things to eat and then things to have as sides. Um, so this is just this is just a one-off random thing that I might have, just like my um, cheese and bacon things I got yesterday. And then these are what my main meals are going to consist of for the next month. Also including what I've got in my freezer already and what I get from the food bank. So, um, which is mainly usually chicken nuggets and sausages. It just depends what they have in stock. So um, the past few weeks I haven't had any sausages, but I've had the chicken nuggets, which are all oh, oh, nice. So anyway, first I got some 80 cocktail sausages. These might probably will end up going in mash, just because of the cooking requirements of these. So I probably have like four. I guess four, yeah, four. Yeah, four cocktail sausages-ish. Four, four to six, because they are quite small. Um, and then I'll just put them with mash and beans or peas or whatever veg I've got. Uh, next I got um, a 60 pack of chicken deathless. These were three pound. Um, these £2 I think. Uh, yeah but these were £3. Um, these work out cheaper than Aldi. Uh, basically I have around four. Yeah four. And then with chips. So these go, these can cook at the same time with chips. Um, so these chips cook for 80 to 20 minutes and these chicken dippers cook for 40 to 60 minutes which I basically put them in for 20 really. So it doesn't really, look really affect the quality or anything. I might Mate, you know what? Whatever. And then lastly, I got these. I haven't had these before, I don't think. Uh, but basically, they're 75 breaded chicken nuggets. 
Um, I prefer the one with butter on because I'm so unhealthy. However, um, these are just chicken nuggets and they'll go with anything. To be honest, these three might even last two months if I'm lucky, if I don't get hungry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and that's basically everything I got from Iceland. My knees, my legs are getting cold because of all the frozen stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to put all this stuff away. Goodness sake, phone. <laughs> Nope. Anyway, I'm going to put all this stuff away because it has to be put in a freezer, otherwise it'll defrost. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm going to get back to relaxing and editing tomorrow's video, which is the vlog where I had the injection. It's a doozy. I went through so many clips. Some of them, like, I filmed the intro for that like four or five times, so that was fun to go through. Anywho, I'm going to go now. I hope you enjoyed uh, having a nosy what's in my freezer for this month. I'm shrinking. Um, I'm sorry, it's the way my phone is. I really should be filming on my camera, but my camera charger is somewhere. I don't know where. I need to clean to find it. Anywho, I'm going to cradle this like my own baby. This is my child. I don't. I, I won't have kids. I'll just give birth to them pill bottles. Um, I don't know. My brain's gone. Anywho, uh, I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you next time. Okay, bye.